Oh yeah. Looks so good in the water, dude. Look at that boat. I think of Florida Keys. Bro, look at that boat, bro. Look at that. All right, ho hopefully it comes a little tighter. Let's see if it comes a little tighter. There we go. That is what we wanted to show them, guys. Woo. Wow. Bro! Oh, yeah. What happened? Bro, give me up and stop. Hey, all right. You never been on a rib before? No. All right, let's switch. I come here. Let's switch. <laughs> hey, come here. What? Bro, listen. Uh, Holy crap. Dude, sitting back here. We just keep looking like, all right, that's right the same level as me. I'm gonna fucking. All right, well. So, how was your first rib moment? Uh, unreal. Never again. <laughs> Hey. See you from a distance. I saw you on that rib. Going you saw me? Ah, oh, dude. The, because of that cap. What? Of that That's cap. why I have these colors. Where are my kids? Look for an orange or a green hat. Are you guys enjoying the the show? Amazing show. Hey. Finally come back. Finally. Well, listen. Back. This is the spot. Wait until tomorrow. Wait for it, Miami Marine Stadium right here, Key Biscayne. Guys, welcome to the South Florida Boat Show. My name is Alfred Montaner, and we are gonna be walking this boat show that's here in Key Biscayne. And uh, I personally like boat shows that are in this uh, vicinity, so wait for it. Guys, we're gonna walk, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna show you some, some of the boats here throughout the show. I mean, we'll see what we can show. Um, what I like about these shows is, hello, is that there's all types of boats, right? And smaller companies that we probably haven't seen yet, so. Look at this. Look at this, guys. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Hey, what, what boats are these? That's the Cypress South Dade Skip. Southwest South, South Dade, Dade Skip. South Dade Skips. Nice. South Dade Skips. This is the Cypress. Where are you guys making these? Right here. South right here in South Dade. Yeah? Yeah. Building Homestead, Florida. Homestead? Yes, sir. Damn, that's not too far from me. No. Where in Homestead exactly? We are You can give me an address, bro. I know. 248 in Chrome. Oh, right there, bro. I know where you can get some tacos close to there. Let me know. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk real quick. Yes, sir, all right. So tell me. All right. So, so what? What would you even guys consider this? Is this like a flats boat this or? This is a polling skiff. Okay, a polling so skiff. This is more of like a hybrid between. This one doesn't have a platform or nothing. Okay. This is how it was ordered. This is our our basic technical polling skiff. So this is as bare bones as fishing as it gets. There's no electric on the boat minus the trolling motor. So just your. This is the shallowest drafting boat probably on the market right now. What, what, when you're saying shallowest, what are we talking about? Four inches of water, and we're still floating with a 200 pound burden. Four inches. Yes, sir. So if we say I'm 247 and walk forward a little bit, it'll still float. Are you admitting that I'm 247, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to give you. Yeah. All right, so you guys, all these, you have all these custom features that you can put on this too, right? Yes, sir. We I like this. Decking, flush mount, flush mount. This one's got four speakers and half. Four oh. power. Okay, so how fast is this boat going right here? This one? Or this yeah, one? this one. The Cypress runs a good 30 miles an hour at cruise, top out maybe 34, 35. 34, how much price point? Uh, this one starts around 36 to 38, depending on the options and the engine you want to get. So under 40? Under 40. With Bro, you might, have, you might have a lot of people interested in this boat. Yes, and we you also know? have the skip, bare bones like this. You're right around 17 grand with a trailer. 17. Yes, sir. With a trailer and... A trailer decking, the way you see it. And how fast is it going on with this Suzuki it's setup? Mid-20s, we got 20 miles. Mid-20s. We get about almost 80 nautical miles on three guys. Bonefish guys, who's buying this? The Bonefish guys, the Tarpon guys, the backcountry. 
real, real backcountry when you really want to get like the hardcore hard. fishermen. Yes. Yeah, like the, the crackhead hard. Yeah, yeah. Little you know, bit, yeah. you guys are, bro. You guys are our own, your own in species. Miami, yes, 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 guys. Listen, listen. Um, I'll tell you, there's a big market for them, though. Absolutely. A huge market, especially Absolutely. in Biscayne Bay. You know, I film at, at, at I don't know if at you know, Black at Black Point. Yes, yeah. Yes. So I film at a Black Point. I see these guys on on shallow boats and early morning. Early morning. Yeah. And they're all, all day. The same. They all got the same MO. 20 fly fishing rods and a lot of gear. Where can they go online to get some info on this boat? Right now, hey, yes, sir, much luck, bro. Glad to see you here in this show. You guys will be here next year, right? Wait for it, guys. All right, guys, let's continue walking the show. All right. All right, so this is technically the entrance, guys of the show let's see what we're talking about price points 124.9 sea hunt escape with a 300 see what i like about these shows guys you know what a lot of smaller manufacturers like that one that we just saw that typically probably won't make it to a huge show they want to show their product right and this is the first day, guys. I came later in the day because I wanted to be able to cover most of the show, so it's going to be a little slow. But I'm filming this on a Friday. This Saturday, I think, is going to be crazy out here when it comes to people, right? Just because of the vibe and where it's at. It's just a fun atmosphere. We got some food trucks and all that good stuff out there. So, I mean, a lot of people that are going to come over here and enjoy this. This is a nice-looking Hughes, dude. Wow, this is a nice looking boat. I like this. Let's see what the price point on something like this is. Oh, look who's there. We got Atlantic Marine. Oh boy. All right guys, so this is 85K for this Hughes. It's a Red Fisher 2021. 20, the beam is 86 with a fuel capacity of 50. I'm telling you, I'm digging this. What do you guys think? Hey, comment below. I want to know what you guys think about these boats. This is a nice looking boat, man. Wow, dude. Look at all this. Storage for days, live wells. Wow, this is becoming a thing too. Golf carts. What is this? Epic carts. Oh, I saw a head. Wait a second! Wait for it! Hey, Wait for it! It's the shit show with the Wait. C, not the S with the C. <laughs> Wait. Wait for it! How are you? Good, bro. Wow. I'm Fred the Croc, first of all. Fred the Croc the other day. Um, Water temperature has gone up. Well, listen what happened. I don't know if you saw the Boy Pati guy. <laughs> Boy Pati! Boy Pati! Some guy jumped into the... Real crazy. I think he was a little bit intoxicated. Well, you know, I have this hat called Tremenda Nota. Yeah. I'm actually wearing this hat right here. Beautiful hat, by you, the way. You, you get it you, right now, luxury pretenders. You, you told me you were like, yo, I like this one. This thing's nice. I know. That one's nice. Really nice. So, first time in, in this show? Is this is this the first time they're doing this, this the show? This is the first SoFlo boat show happening right now, which is really cool because the parking's easy. Yes. Easy to get to. Air yes. And it's the best deals right now happening with, of course, Atlantic Marine store. Question. What a salesman! Woo! All right, all right, all right. So, Go ahead. we have Seaborns because I just saw Seaborn out there. You know, I, I was out there. We have two outside of the slip, correct? Yes. So, I'm going to go out there now in a little bit. Do it. Um, I want to show all the boats of the show. For sure. What do we got in here? And tell me some of the deals. Some of the deals right now, very important. We just became a Bobo Penta authorized dealer, which is really cool for all you inboarders, you little cru the yacht cruisers. Come on down. Let's put you on a brand new Bobo. Of course, we got Ilmore. We got Yanmar Diesel. Another Seaborne boat here. This is the 22. And we got sound systems, outboards by Suzuki, Yamaha, Honda. Really nice. Frank hey, here. Frank. Hey. It's the first time in four shows. I don't catch you eating, bro. I know. Bro. Bro. Listen, we got to do a be real about that. You know, we got to do a We're going to have that. Yeah, you're just gonna... Hey, here's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up with the hat? I finally got it. 
No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I have it inside of a box. I don't want to wear it because he might take it away from me. Oh. Uh, I'll fuck yeah. him. I take it back. You know. <laughs> so uh, back to the scheduled program. All right. Jesus Christ, Frank. Yamaha, <laughs> Suzuki, the good stuff, the real deal, the holy deal. Give us a call. Feel bad. Eight two six two two. But listen and watch Alfred Mountaineer. His videos are amazing. Black Moon Marina. Hold on. I'm gonna be there with him. We're gonna yes. do a tag team work. Yes. When do you want to, you let me know. This before. summer. No. After? After Memorial. 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 Yeah, but you know what happens? Memorial weekend. Everybody Fre crashes. Fre and breaks listen, breaks. listen. Memorial, for you to get your feet wet at that boat ramp, you'll probably get into a fight, bro. For real. So listen, we don't want to mess up your career. We're a <laughs> <laughs> hey. Alfonso. Hey, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna do something at Black Point. Yes. But we're gonna judge boats. I'm yes. Be oh, well, listen, I'll be on the other side if you're going to do that. All right, if I'm you want to take something, that's on you. I'm down, and I'm taking Matt. Matt's coming with us. <laughs> All right, All right guys. guys Al 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 Alfonso Al from Atlantic Marine over here at the South Florida Boat Show, guys. Oh, my goodness. Alfred. What's going on? What's going on, Alfred? What do we got here? Seat Pro in the house. Hey, how good is it to have this show in Key Biscayne, bro. This is, bro, this is awesome. I love this over here. I love, I love this area. I love the way they have the show set up. It's a great, great turnout so far. And uh, expecting great things. Coming I have to get a hoodie, bro, because it's so cold in here. Yeah, it's awesome. Bro, it's awesome. hey, what's up? It's like 95 degrees outside. And in here, it's like, it's 40. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. See Pro in the house. Check him out if you guys, uh, look. Guys, since I don't have a mic on everybody, and one of the things that's different about this show is that there is a lot of music being played. So it's gonna be very hard to go ahead and uh, get people and have conversations with people and, and have good audio because you know I like to do those run and gun videos. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can, we can see this one. All right, this is C Pro right here. What do we got? 549 a month. 83399. Wepa! Alright, look at this guys. Nice looking boats. And I'll tell you right now guys, my nephew, which is Edward, we did an awesome video on on a C Pro that he has. And um, it's on my channel. We put a thousand pounds of chum on that boat and uh it it was it was probably the biggest mistake i've ever done on youtube but it was a fun show and it was done on a sea pro and we made it back with no problems it was definitely crazy so my nephew man he's a character to say the least he reminds me of a young me oh look at this guys you know you know i'm a big fan of rib boats but check this out this is a rib boat that is pro propelled by a jet ski. So literally you can have your jet ski, have people hanging out on the actual boat. What do you guys think about this? I think this is pretty cool. Wait for it. What do we got? Boat show special, 44K guys. And I'm sure your own jet ski will That's pretty cool. And it looks like it's compatible with all types of jet skis, right? Hyperlon tubes. Nice, nice looking boat. Calypso is in the house. Guys, you won't see this on Saturday. I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. Look at this, wow, look at that entry on this, bro. Holy smack. This thing is, this thing is sharp, bro. Wow. Hold on, I gotta get, I gotta get a, better, a better shot so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Damn, look at this, guys. That's pretty impressive. Calypso 34 CX. Now we have all types of boats over here, guys. Um, 
And if you guys know, we've done a lot of videos on my channel when it comes to walking boat shows and showing all the boats. But I definitely like showing you guys stuff you have, have not seen. What do you guys think about this? We got front runner over here. Those guys are uh, always building good boats. They had some boats over there in the last show that we showed. Powered by Mercury. We got some rib boats here as well. Guys, when I tell you the air conditioning here is flawless, it is so, so hot outside. But once you can come in here, you're gonna hide and be happy, trust me. You got some Hobies over here. There's a whole floating dock system, huh? Yes. Yeah? Yes, sir. So you could just build off of it, build off and make it bigger? Yeah. yeah. Parts, that is so cool. What's this right here for a jet ski or like a small boat? It's a jet ski. For a jet ski? Correct. What does something like this uh, hold as far as weight? Oh, it's 1,200 pounds. 1,200 easy? Easily, yeah. Nice. Well. That's awesome. How much is the price point on something like that? You're looking at like 3,100. About 31? 31 and then it installs probably about 600. That is nice. And, and when you say install, what, what do you have to do to install it? You have to, basically you see these holes here. What you want to do is you run steel pipes. Okay. Okay. Drive them into the ocean floor. Okay. A good four to five feet. All right. And then what you basically you run PV, PVC pipe over top of the steel. Okay. And you can leave it. You know, free piped or you put a bracket on it, depending on your seawall or dock or whatever. Do they make you do get a permit for that or no? No. No, most you're good. Do not, uh, there are some places that are required. Okay. The reality of it is, like most places, uh, you have to. You, you don't. You have to yeah. look at your local. Yeah, 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 you're looking. All right, just ask because that, that's going to be questioned in the comment section. I'm doing a video of the whole show, so. Right. What's the name of the company? Easy Marine Services. E Easy Marine Services. And this this system is called what? This is a wave arm right here. Wa yeah. The wave? Wave armor. Okay, guys. Where can they go online? Uh, here you go. Guys, leave it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Right there. Scan that real quick and you can get the information. Hey, thank you so much. Guys, showing you all the differences over here. Uh-oh, we got a rib boat. Wait for it. Oh, my goodness. No. No, they have not invented this. This is brilliant. Oh, I got to ask her. Excuse me. Hi, my name is Alfred. How are you? Good, good. Anya. Do you, how do you open that to, to bring it down? Yeah, that one, this one, it's like, uh, you have to like do it by yourself. And okay. These two, they're electric. We're like electric. Phone, phone. Is it hard to do that? To bring it down? Um, why do you want me to? I would love to see it. I think I'm prepared to do the electric one. No, <laughs> come on, let's go. You know why? Because look, I've never seen this and I think it's such a brilliant idea. All right, guys, I'm putting, what's, and what was your name again? Oh, wait, wait, don't, no, wait, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry about it. This is what makes it good. Because here's the thing, right? You're gonna have a lot of, a lot of women that are gonna wanna do this, really? right? All right, guys, so. Um, okay, so, okay, so you're, you're sliding it back. Yeah. So you have to slide here. Is there a locking mechanism on it or no? No, it's locked. It has to be locked. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I definitely want to find this out. It clicked. I heard something locked too. There's a lock. Which is good. Makes sense because if you're gonna to toy, you want it to be locked. There it is, guys. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. I heard the lock. Okay. See that? That was beautiful. And now you just now, tilt. Now you tilt the motor. Yeah, you just tilt the motor. Yeah, no, no. It's gonna. It's, that's it. No, that's it. Now all you have to do is tilt it from here. And I'm sure I can do it if I wasn't holding the camera, guys. Okay. What's the name of this brand? Genius. Genius. Yeah. Where are they making these? Italy. In Italy. Yeah. This is interesting. So interesting. So let me ask you something. 
once you put the engine in the water, are you gonna pull it back? Hey, you just got a job over here, man. No, no, listen, that's awesome. Okay, but listen. Now, Liana, you can put that cover back over there and now that's not, not in the way, right? Yeah. So, boom. All right, you know why this is beautiful? You know why this, to me, is so amazing? Because in a garage of a yacht, you, have more space to you can't put, in most cases, one of these outboards on there. Yeah. And you have a motor that a lot of times, wherever you're at, are very difficult to fix if you don't have somebody who can fix it yourself. Any of these small outboards, anybody can fix them wherever you are in the world. Yeah. And this like, will actually the make, like that's the concept. That's 100% the concept. Because for instance, this will actually fit in the garage of a yacht now, and you don't have to worry about it not fitting. Yeah. This is a game changer. Look at this. So the, guys, let me go show you over here. Let's, let's show the big one. Now, now, guys, I'm putting her on the spot, but this is, this is super smart and no you know what this is this is genius that's exactly why they called it that this one i need to revolve but i don't know where it's at this is your first alfred montaner moment <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on no 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 listen listen um it might it might even be on look at this guys oh look 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 it's doing it somebody's there oh my god oh, oh. Dude, I just, I just put her on the spot for the last five minutes. <laughs> All right. So, dude, that is genius. No pun intended. It's, that's exactly what I just said. So, she just showed us. Obviously, she didn't know exactly at first, but we got, we got it figured out. Uh -huh. So, what's your name? Raul. Raul. Yes. So, Raul, can you use that hydraulic lift to do the same thing we just did? Yep. Hold on. Wait, wait. Get right here. I want to show that you're using a remote. Stay right there. Yeah, just stay right there. There you go. That's what I want to show. That is, that is a game changer and that's why it's a genius. This right here. You have just killed, you just killed the game. Like, why would you want to have an inboard? A, a jet tender or anything like that? Why? Out of the question. Why? You don't need it. Not, not no more. Like, think about this. You know, one of the biggest problems, one of the biggest problems that a lot of these garages have that you can't put an outboard on it because of this, this scenario right here. Because it's, it's hanging through the back. It takes up space. You're not losing any space here at all. Uh, the advantages are not only that, but uh, on swing platforms, you're, okay. you're raising a leveled weight. Okay. Instead of having all the weight in the back of the tender. Okay. So you're putting less strain on the jacks on the platform. You also don't have the keel hanging out, which sometimes hits the water. You're cruising around, and you're, you're in a swell, and you're feeling the keel of the outboard digging into the waves. Uh, I mean, I get scared when I see it on my boat. I feel like I'm gonna rip the tender off. Uh, this is brilliant. Do you guys got a patent on that? Yes, sir. You do? Yeah. Absolutely, uh, genius. We're the reps for the US. This is an Italian brand. Okay. And, uh, what material is this here? This is Orca, which is military grade. Uh, really? This is an orca in this color? I haven't seen yeah. this color. Those are all the finishes right there. Wow. So you have this like sandpaper uh, like color. I have not it's seen this. Carbon fiber weave. Yeah, yeah. So we've so we've shown that. Yeah. Okay, look. Show me on, on the small one. Uh, actually, there I heard a locking mechanism, yeah. which is important. Yeah. Can you show me what, what this is? How this one works? This is the simplest model. So in order to lock the motor in place, you use this uh, uh, little a pin, okay. Pin. You screw them all the way in, and that's it. Until you until you make the seal, and it locks it. Yeah, when you're taking it off. Interesting, all dude. The way back. Wow, uh, I love this. Invisible model, so we cover the mechanism. Yes. So you take this off. You reveal what's. Uh, I'm loving this. This works. There's a little pin here. Okay, that's the pin. Okay, let me see that pin. Little secure pin. Okay, that's so what it is. The motor from sliding. Okay. Once we hit that. Boom. That's what we heard. Because she was trying to figure it out, and then th that's the pin that once you're out in the water and there's yeah. waves and all that so stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. Yes. Wow, dude. 
Where can they go online, Raul, to find out more information on this? DKRmarine.com. DKRmarine.com? Yes, sir. Is there a number that you want to give out? Uh, yeah, 954-805-9838. Uh, we're the dealers for the U.S. We have a lot of them in stock in our marina in the Miami River. Beautiful. And, uh, they're made to order, too, so we can have you know, all customization that's possible, from the tubes to the hull color to the flooring, underwater lights, What's the price point on something like this? This one decked out with the black tubes, the overpressure valve, the seat cushion, the faulty, the engine, everything is 24K. 24,000, and what's this? Oh, how, what size class. is this? This is two meters, 85. Okay. Which would be about nine and a half feet. Yeah, nine, almost 10. Okay, what's, what's that size over there? That is uh, three meters, 80, which would be like a 12, 10. Okay. And all, all this is fiberglass, right? Fiberglass? Fiberglass, gel coated, uh, coated match on the helm and on the, on the hull. Uh, we can do the custom fabrics, custom bands, custom... Uh, Loop handles. Holders, custom tender to uh, patches. Nice. Uh, you know, awesome. Fusion stereo. No, listen, this is... Tabs. Okay, okay, so so on this particular model right here, this will come back, this opens up as well. Yes. Um, all right, guys. So listen, I'm I I love I love uh, innovation, and to me, look at him. He's there using his fob right here. You see that? Look at that. That is absolutely game changing. Damn, that is so smart, man. You know how many people are gonna see this and be like. Bro, get that thing out of my garage, garage and put, and put now, it, you can put a Suzuki, you can put Yamaha, you can put Mercury, whatever you want, yeah. or no. The only one that, the only outboard that doesn't work with our system, and, and it's just because of the shape of the cowling, and we actually hate it because we think it's a great motor, is the Honda. Other than that, Mercury, Suzuki, Yamaha okay. are good to go. Tohatsu is also good to go. Nice. Well, listen, I want to thank you for letting me show this. Really Check it out on my channel, Alfred Montaner on YouTube. Excellent. All right, guys. Good luck. Thank you. No, you did awesome. That was the best part, guys. We're gonna continue. We're, <laughs> we're gonna continue, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna head the other way. I'm Vermonting. Look at, guys. That is badass. We still gotta go that way, but I gotta get, I gotta get some batteries. I don't, I'm running out of batteries. Oh. So, eventually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, guys. But I do want you guys to see a little bit of this. Um, we're starting it. We're gonna continue, and. We got Contender here, offered by uh, Gus uh, Toy Box. Those, those guys are out of Key Largo somewhere. And they have a lot of uh, stuff. All right, so let's go continue over here. We were just here. I um, wanna continue walking the inside of this indoor show. Guys, I can't tell you how great it feels in here as far as how cold it is so don't be worried about the heat you have somewhere to hide look we've been showing some of these canvases at some of the boat shows this is a different one right here but this is a 281 no this is a 34 ct this is a monster this was one of my favorite boats at the show in uh, Miami, guys. What do you guys think? Camus makes a very nice looking boat, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, the fit and finish of this boat. We actually saw the owner at the Miami show as well. Tell me this thing is not beautiful. And it's, it's great to see um, these very popular boats out here supporting these uh, small venues, right? I'll tell you this, I, I think because of the location, because of this location, this show is gonna grow exponentially. And if you don't have the ability to come to any of the other major shows that we have here in Miami, um, this might be an option. And um, what I like about it is the outside too, the, the, the water. 
you know just very very and we get to see some of these smaller manufacturers i mean camus is not one of the smaller ones but when we started this video we we saw them all right let's go let's keep on walking and talking and uh, see the rest of this uh, show now i know outside we're i'll just do some b-roll like in the main areas so you guys can see it because they definitely got a dj there the whole time just partying which is cool we got rocket trailers here Two ninety nine. What do you guys think? NX boats. Wait for it. I wonder if we can get in there. Let's see, guys. Here's a good thing about these small shows, right? You can get into a lot. Look, this is a bigger one over here. It looks like nobody's on this one yet. But I can't go inside, guys. I'm not going to take off my shoes. But just to give you guys an idea. Wow, this is very nice. I like this. Very, very nice. Wow, 600s. They're going to start filming that boat right now. The run and gun over here at the boat show. 34 Sport Coupe. You can probably come up here. Oh boy. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think it's I think it's a party on the water, if you ask me. They got a nice booth in here too. Oof, oof, I see something blistering, oh boy, what the, this is sick, oh my goodness, wait for it, wait for it, what's going on guys, wow, this looks nice, oh my goodness guys, Earth boats here at the South Florida Boat Show. Oof, this thing looks sick. Now, what do you guys think? I think we gotta. I think we gotta go ahead and show something. We can't just not go up here and not see this boat. Let's see, guys. Yes, that is what we're talking about, dude. Look at this. Way for it. How are you? Good, man. What a beautiful boat, dude. Thank you. You mind showing me the inside of it, Arthur? Okay. Arthur, can you, you made a video for us in Miami Boat Show? Yes. Orange boats. Yes. Remember? I do remember. Yeah. I like this boat a lot. Can yeah. we show inside of it? Absolutely, please. Can, let me take off my shoes and, sure. and can you lower the radio up there? Yeah. All right, guys, let's go on there. We're going to have Arthur show us this boat, guys. Step hole. Wow. I'm telling you, I am digging this. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this out here. We got... We got the Nautical Ventures crew over there with the water pool. That is so cool. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Let's go up there. All right. Go, go, go. Lead. I, so you can shut off the radio. I can't have the radio on the video. Oh, you. No music. No music at all. No music. No music. I know. Listen, I know we have a lot of music. We don't need music. We need to talk. I want to talk and show this boat. That's, that's what I want. I want them to hear and see what you're going to say. 
Wow, dude, this is beautiful. This is a very nice we boat. We have a camera here. You can see the screen. That camera doesn't break with all those J.O. audios just beaming at it, shaking it Nothing. with the music. Da! Nothing. Guys, you're gonna you're gonna be. Here we have a fridge. Here we have a two storage. Wow, this here thing is sick. Fridge. Okay, Arthur, what model is this? This is Arch 333 SC, Sport Cruise. Okay. Man, this is, is this, what, what hole number is this? Is this one of your first holes or you have more wow, of these? This is number five. Number five. Yes. Wow. We five emotes in Miami Boat Show. Five? Yes. Well, you're going to sell 10 today. I hope so. <laughs> no, trust me, you are. All right, guys. Oh, wait a second. Look at my hat. Right there, guys. Wait for it. <laughs> Look. That is awesome. So. Here we can uh, turn the lights. You can choose, example, the speakers. All your speakers, you can change them. If you want to change the color, like a blue, orange. Beautiful. And you can change wherever you want. So you, you, depending on the vibe you want, where you're at. At night, this boat must look amazing on the water. Yes. It must look amazing. All right, so we tell me a little bit. Colors. We match all the colors, inside and outside. This boat, this boat is blue, and then we can match all the colors. Peace. Guys, Arthur doesn't have a mic. Remember, we're doing a run and gun, so whatever. I mean, I'm gonna try to do my best here, showing and, and getting the audio. But there is some music in the background. That's that's a problem. But wow, man, this is absolutely awesome, dude. Absolutely beautiful boat. Look at this, guys. Okay, Arthur, so tell me a, a little bit about, first of all, who's gonna wanna buy this boat? Somebody that wants to party, go fast somewhere, poker guys, poker poker run boats? Something like that, yes. It's more a sports boat. This week, three, it's more for a sports boat. This thing is, bro, this thing is beautiful. Oh no, this thing, wherever you go, this is gonna gain, get some attention, and for you sure. To do something the same as bro. You can see the draw here. Everywhere you see the same uh, row. Yeah, all the lines, guys. All the same lines. Look at this, guys. Look at the details on this beautiful upholstery. Man, this is. Now, Arthur, where are you guys making these? Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach. So another Florida-made boat. Yes. Here you can see everyday spread. All of the frame. Yeah. Everything's uh, fiberglass. And we have a board. Wow. You have a small sink, a head, and a berth here, guys. Hey, I'll tell you right now, I'm really impressed. We have a shower here. Take a nice rain shower outdoors. Yes. Get that salt water off you when you want to come back on the boat. Yes. The boat has 10-7 the beam. 10-7 beam? Yes. And we create something very nice. If you go to the restaurant or some dock, you can live in a boat from here. Super easy. I like that. Smart. Very smart. Off sides. Yeah. We create this on like a electric car, you know. Nice. Does that move or no? no? It's, no. it's okay, just great. And now, is yeah, there is a windshield there. It's so clean, I didn't even know there's a windshield there. Yes. All right, guys. So you have a windshield. W what fuel capacity and like, do we have a sea keeper on this? So the gas tank is 280. And 280. And doesn't have a can, can you put one if you yes. wanted to? We can put it under the pilot seat. Okay. What's the price point on something like this, Arthur? Start to 399. 399. Yes, with a uh, pair 300 racing Mercury. How fast is it going with this setup right now? Now it's 70. 70? Yes. What if you put 450s? More than 70. <laughs> <laughs> where, where can they go online to get more information? Uh, Artboat.com. Artboat. Guys, thank you so much. Thank what you. a beautiful boat, guys. Thank you. 
Uh, you guys got to see this if you come to the show. Arthur, you'll see yourself on the channel. Beautiful boat. I'll tell you right now, so far, it's my favorite boat at the show. Well, I haven't gone out there yet, though. <laughs> Cross your fingers. I still. <laughs> All right, guys. Beautiful boat. Love seeing uh, new designs and people uh, changing it up, guys. Wait for it. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to take a quick pause. We're going to continue walking. I'm going to put my shoes back on, and uh, I don't know. Let's see what else. Guys, we're going to end up at the docks. Let's go. Wow. All right. I, um, I am genuinely impressed, guys. Oh, we got a rib boat here represented by Nautical Ventures. Orion six meter rib boat. Is it me or rib boats? Uh, just, I can just be around them all day, every day. Love this. Oh, we got an Antares over here. Also Nautical Ventures here representing. Guys, let me tell you something. These small shows that start small and just take off in the future. All right, so this is 172,000 uh, Beneteau represented by Nautical Ventures. This kind of reminds me of uh, the boats that we filmed at the uh, Seattle Boat Show. Remember when we go up there? You guys got to check out all the boat uh, show videos. Man, I picked a perfect day, guys. Friday late in the afternoon. This show actually stays open later than normal. So it's a smaller show. It's only a three-day window. But yeah, we got a little bit of light. Damn, they have a head in here too. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. So yes, three day window, not much, right? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in uh, Miami Marine Stadium. Hopefully this, this show is extremely successful and they do it again. I hope so, because to have that, sh that other show at this time of year, prior to the next big show, uh-oh. They dropped the boat, guys. What happened here? Oh my goodness. Wait a second. This is an actual, wait, hold on a second, guys. Let me put my camera on the floor. Wait. That is, that is pretty sick. Wait, wait a second. All right, guys. For some reason, I'm confused right now. We're gonna have to ask somebody about this boat. Look at this shallow sport wow this thing looks like it must draft four inches of water hey does that boat float it floats oh, yeah. that boat floats you're gonna tell me that boat floats for real yeah. no nah, nah, i'm playing around uh what is that thing draft that's that's on plane on plane it's uh four inches four inches that's yeah. what i guessed i was like this four inches yeah so what is running it at rest it's uh at rest it's six to eight inches um we need 10 inches of water for a whole shot and and water splashing on the deck doesn't matter because it's just going to go to the other side and, and yeah, it's all right, it'll roll right off, yeah. wow that must be such a freaking experience yeah, it is it's pretty cool so what's the target audience for something like that you guys want to do Backshore, you know, backwater fishing, shallow water stuff. Um, shallow. Out, out in Texas, it's real big. They pull, they pull into the flats and they get off and they do wade fishing out in Texas. Some of the same stuff here. Look at this. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Like this is absolutely so different. Um, how fast is something like this going on? on? So with a with the 250 on it, it'll run low 50s on this guys look at this what's the price point on this, uh, this one's like 130. all right guys let's see the price point yeah 131 yeah, 131 thousand yeah. dollars 
um, if you had to say, right? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about guys out here locally, what they're thinking, like how, Wait, uh, wave wise, three, five, four, uh, twos, two to threes, two to threes, okay, two to three foot, three foot shot, guys. This is a big boat, too. What size is this? 24 foot, 24 foot. and what, what does it hold as far as the tank? Uh, fuel size on this one. Uh, Let's see, guys. I'm telling you, this is interesting. Forty-five gallon. What is that? A sitting area up there? What's that? What's that? Yeah, that's a standing platform. Okay. So, so, fishing. okay. So you're gonna be up there yep. so, casting. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Well, listen. Where can they go online to get more information on this boat? Look at it right there. Good. Look at it in the sunset Good, uh, or sunrise. Legacy Marine. Or, yep, or Shallow Sports. Marine.com or Shallow Sports. Yep, shallow guys, sports. thank you so much. What's your name? Ben DeVries. Ben? Yep, DeVries. Okay, guys, Ben over here at the South Florida. How's the show been so far? Very good. And wait until tomorrow. It's going to get really busy oh, yeah. tomorrow. That's why I'm here today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's another boat that I want you guys to see. Look at this. It's another boat I haven't seen. Or maybe I have seen it, but I never gave it love because you know what these these shows actually highlight some of these interesting wow. builds look at the size of this guys wow look at this dinghy i mean would this be considered a tender i mean can you have this in the back of your house go to your local i don't know restaurant on the water maybe use it to come on shore Man, this is elegant. Maxima 620 Retro. And it's 60K, guys, here at the boat show. Legacy Marine is also representing this one. Um, I told you guys, don't be slipping. I'll tell you, here, here's my advice. You know, I like to, look, download that. If you see this, right, download that or, or look at the actual people who are going to be here. I'm going to try to upload this video while this event is happening, but my suggestion is um, try to fight for price. Try to fight for price. You, you're, you're at an advantage now, guys. Try to fight for price. These guys, all of them want to sell boats, and um, the market has turned, right? Now it's in your favor again. So yes, everybody's motivated. But you might be able to sweeten the deal a little bit, you know, get something that's available. The, remember, COVID was like the best salesman for boats. Now things are getting back to where it was pre-COVID, right? More normal. What boat is this here? 28cc Windy. More Nautical Ventures uh, boats here. Now, guys, there's a couple rib boats outside that these guys said that they might be able to take me on a sea trial. Hopefully, if I can, I would love to do a sea trial on some of the rib boats that they have outside for Nautical Ventures. I think one of them is a brand new um, high field with twin 300s, I think. Guys. Whoever the promoter was, look at this. He was like, whatever you do, make sure nobody, nobody gets hot. Dude, it feels so cold in here. Now, please, uh, I would encourage you to check out the boats for yourself. I mean, I, I can't show all the boats, guys, because I just don't have the time. But definitely come over here and ask around and see what's going on and, you know, see what boats will be interesting to you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving the fact that they have more, more options. Boats that I usually don't see.
Nice. Bay liner over here. We got a bay liner trophy also. Four wins. What's up with this trophy? We got some pontoon boats here. You know what I gotta do? I gotta go back to the Chicago Boat Show. And once I go to the Chicago Boat Show, we're gonna see a whole lot of pontoon boats. I'll do it guys, early 2024. Ladies, if you wanna go ahead and buy some stuff here, come to the very end of the booths. Hello. While wow, supplies last. Sun chill. Looks like a giant look. Maybe we should put Fred the Croc in the middle, right there, like this. See that? Wow, that's a perfect thing. I love it. It matches my hat. There you go. Hey, boom. I like that. Here, that's the hat I'm wearing right now, guys. LuxuryRibTenders.com. I have a bunch of hats. They, you guys have really been helping a lot with uh, support. It really does help a lot. Uh, it helps the channel, especially when YouTube is slow. YouTube has been kind of slow, but we still push it. All right, so look, we have coffee places. You want to get some coffee over here you can get some coffee you know you can get some coffee you get some gourmet hot dogs if you want oh this is this is this is painful for my diet <laughs> but i'm gonna have to come back when i stop filming <laughs> all right guys we got some gourmet hot dogs here at the very end you heard it here first all right now we're about to to hit the outside as well. We got some we got some dip. Yep. Name of the no. company is what are we smoking? What are you smoking, dude? No, you no, guys are like you what are we smoking? What, 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 are, what are we smoking? You guys are like Ching Ching Chong here. <laughs> so what 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 are we uh what do we got? Macro, what a wahoo, what Swordfish. is it? Swordfish. Mahi. Mahi. Wahoo. Wahoo. And our own cracker. We make our own cracker line, right? Nice. Here. Where are you guys making this uh, I mean the small business, right? Yeah. Great. We're Where? At, by Tamiami Airport. Oh, so you're here local. Yeah, we're that's, local. That's awesome. And we supply about 40 different uh, stores and markets and bait shops from. Bait shops mostly? No, no, no. Uh, no. But, but, but like, for instance, can so you find market. something like this on a Publix yet? Or it's still too new? Mylums. Mylums. Okay, well, we're listen. You started, okay, on no, Mylums, yeah. okay, which is a local grocery yeah. store. But process. but maybe look people watch my channel from other parts of the of the states. Right. Can you ship this stuff? Yes. You can. Yes. Give me your website. What are we smoking .com. Leave off the G. It's what are we smoking? What are we smoking, man? I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna take some some of that when I get out of here, guys. Sam. Guys, support your local businesses. What are we smoking? Look, if you have the kids over here, you want to get them some uh, mask. Those are kind of cute. Look at that. That's so cute, dude. I love that. There's so many different ones, too. Guys, keep your kids and take them outside. That is the best thing you can do. Look. Oh, you guys, you parents, for sure. How much are these? 75 high-end products, 35 okay. for the Sofro Special. Okay, so flow 35 for this special here, 75 for the ravers. High end product. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, guys. All right, let's go outside and uh, look. You got some pool products. Imagine being in the pool right there. I mean, guys, we have just gone beyond lazy, but it's gonna get worse, guys. 
because AI has entered 2023 and uh, it's been crazy. All right, so now we're not gonna have a lot of audio here now at this point because there's music, but I just wanna give you guys the idea of what this looks like. So there's a stage here. You got a bunch of food trucks. You got, guys, you have food trucks on both sides and you got an eating area on the center. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and eat a bunch of different foods, come out here. You're gonna be able, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a good time. Because the vibe, the vibe is set up for a good time. And you're gonna see boats, so. Speaking of boats, oh, I see a boat that I recognize. Wait for it. Wait for it. Captain, I need seven beers. Wait for it. No, 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 I'm just filming. No. What time are you guys open tomorrow? Okay. A las 11. Doce, una, dos, tres. Oh, eh, eh, tomorrow? Yeah. A las once. A las once. Thank you, guys. They open up tomorrow at 11. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but something happened. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bro. Yes, sir. I, don't call me sir, bro. Oh, Ow, <laughs> oh, from Carrera Power Boats. Hey, um, you know I was here, but you went inside to where the coldest air conditioning in all of humanity is. <laughs> Bro, tell me, is that place not freezing? So you were running from the heat too? Uh, a little bit. You had I to go to the truck. That, I yeah, I, 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 know, I, I know, I know. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any strokes since we last talked? Uh, no, no. No, we're waiting. We're waiting for Let me know so we can call me so I can film it. Yeah, remember, we got 21, 22, and now we're waiting for number three. <laughs> All right, good. Hey, so I was, I talked, to, I talked to Anthony. I'm running and gunning. I did a full video, and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. I saw the brand new flat hat, beautiful, that white, white, I'm, I'm going to call it Blanco, Senor Blanco. <laughs> hey, oh. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and put that video. I'll see you guys later. Right, guys, Carrera Powerboats, huge supporter of Alfred Montaner. And uh, if you have not seen any of the videos, these guys have helped me immensely with the Sun Dorado. This is the 32. Guys, you're gonna wanna see that. I walked that boat with Anthony from Carrera a little while ago. Hey, sometimes you come to a boat show and you just, you know, you get the urge of buying a, Lamborghini, right? Here, hold on a second. Let me go ahead and, there you go, guys. Wait for it. There it is, hey, luxuryreptenders.com. No, I have to, guys. That's beautiful. What do you guys think? Hey, Delta Exotics over here. Man, this is so dope. Wow. I am enjoying this. Look at this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. I am thinking I am somewhere else. Oh, you want to go to Kokomo? Let's go to Kokomo, guys. Hey, bring some cash, uh, have some credit cards, and wait for it. All right, so let's go to where the boats are. And uh, so we have some boats. All right, so there's multiple docks here. This is, I love these shows over here in Miami, guys. So cool. Another rib boat over there. Oh, look, I see a Sea Hunter flag. All right, let me see if, where I can get to, guys. I don't know. Look, you got a boat here called Dracar. Is it Dracar or is it Dracar? I don't know. See if we can go ahead and show some some love over here. Oof, I can't hardly see anything, guys. Is the camera seeing? I have to like literally have my my hand all the way above the boat, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, my wide lens is getting something. Oof. What's up, guys? Look at these. Huh? 
Unfortunately, my my arm doesn't have eyes, but, but it looks good from the outside. But I, I'm sure I'll see the comment. The, the, I mean, I don't want to take off my shoes, so ah. that's why. The only reason we ask, and okay. I'm, I'm that one of those guys too, the only okay. reason we ask, because the EVA, the C-Deck, okay. is just hard to clean. And depending uh, on, like, some people don't have, like, bad things. Look, listen, I, I, I get it 100%. I, I want to show the boat because I've never seen the boat, right? So, and I'm showing the whole show. And if you're here, I want to especially show yeah, boats that I've never yeah, shown. Course, course. So that's why I kind of did my long arm. And so where are you guys building it? Okay, so we build these boats. We manufacture 90% of them, as well, let's call it 95, out of oh, Brazil. Okay. Hand laid uh, fiberglass, okay. thick fiberglass, one piece bulkhead and stringers. Okay. A very high, very solid boat. Nice. We build it in Brazil, ship it, container ship it here. And you assemble everything over here? Yeah. No, not everything. It's uh, pretty much done. Electronic engines. Some of the electronics, like the garments. Okay. Engine and steering. That's it. Fishing uh, boat mostly? Or is that? Mostly fishing boat. It's fishing slash family. Okay. It's one of those, the guy wants to hang out with his friends in the boat, but he wants to be able to take his family out sometimes on it too. So it's got, I mean, the biggest. Just, bro, listen, just go out on the worst day. And gentlemen, listen up, listen closely, guys. Take your wife, your kids on the worst day on the water, you scare the shit out of them, and you go by yourself and your friends all the time. That's the plan. That's it. You can't, you can't say the quiet part. You can't say the quiet part ladies, the ladies are not going to watch this long of the no, video, anyways. They're not watching at this point. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a boat taking girlfriend on. Oh, no, no, don't say that part either. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hold on a sec. <laughs> Hey, where can Shake we go? Where, where can we go online? Where we can, can go find out more about this boat? Dracarboats. Okay. Com. Awesome, guys. Hey, thank you so much thank for the know. time, guys. Uh, isn't that awesome, guys? That's what we're here for. Oh man, we got a dock coming up. V Tech boats over here. We filmed some of these guys in the past. Here. Wait for it. Yes. Wow. I like this this color scheme. What do you guys think? Oof. Wait for it. Oh hey, no that piedra, come here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you, I caught you. <laughs> oh, hey, bad. I love seeing you guys at shows. Uh, I love being out here in Miami Beach, bro, in, in Key Biscayne, bro. Thank you. Like this is, bro, this is crazy. Hey, I love the color screen. What what model is this one here? That's the 18 side console. 18 side console, and what's this one over here? That's the Miami Vice, that's the new one. The Miami Vice, wow, hold on. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get the skyline right here of Miami. Guys, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this, Miami Vice. Oh, hey, killing it, bro, I love it. Give, give, the, give the, the website. Bro, come on. I don't need Barcelo music in this video. This is good, bro, this is a good video. No me la cague. Okay, where can they go online? VTech? VTech Boats. Yep. VTech Boats. How, price points on, on these two boats? This boat doesn't have a price point. That's fine, that's personal. That's, bro, Don that's Johnson wants it, you're gonna sell it, bro. And a, you're not gonna sell that boat to Don Johnson? The Miami Vice boat? Bro, Don Johnson, call me, bro. Call, call me, call me. Now, nah, listen, Don Johnson, right here. We're gonna make it happen over here. <laughs> Wait for it, hold on, guys. Uh oh, it's gonna get good. Oh, welcome to the skyline. What's up, guys? Welcome to the skyline of Miami. Guys. Oh, let me tell you something. I enjoy these Key Biscayne docks at boat shows. Some of my best memories have been on these docks. And oh my goodness, we're gonna do a sea trial. It's gonna happen for sure. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have, they have nothing restricting them from doing a sea trial, guys. Wow. Absolutely nuts. Look at this to party. Dude, this is like a party behind your yacht. Well, maybe you don't need a yacht. Maybe you just want to just chill on the back of your boat. 
Okay, this is a Miami, uh, this is actually a police boat, guys. We'll get on this, we'll get arrested. Get off my lawn, no! But that is a safe boat, and if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that yours truly has uh, a video of that factory in Bremerton, Washington. Absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness, guys. This show is going to grow. I'm telling you, wait for it. We got some pursuits here. Blackfin over here as well. We got a Cobia. And we got some center consoles over here as well. All right. Um, I think I saw Chris over there. Look at this blackfin. Oh boy, somebody's gonna sell that boat. It's just money, bro. Just money. Just, just, just give, give it away, bro. Just give it away. Hey, listen, listen. It's just money, bro. <laughs> it's just money. Yeah, my dad always says, it's just more zebras. <laughs> <laughs> which, which boat have you liked so much, uh, so far the most? Ah, uh, dude, they're all nice. But there's gotta be one that you like more than the others. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for a flats boat, so I, I like those VTEX up there. I just actually filmed them. Did you see that Miami Vice? I saw you there, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah. I, like, I like the other one too, I like the, the, the burgundy. Yep. I'm kind of like, I like that color combination too. I like how it fit the uh, end in the poles that match yes. the poles in the motor. Yeah, All right, man. Hey, uh, have a good show, man. You too. Uh, guys over here, people enjoying checking out the boats and the deals. Look at this Cobia. Guys, we've had an awesome show. 314, slashing from 373 to 314. Hey, you got to keep the doors open, guys. You got to keep the doors open. What stimulates uh, buys? Price cuts. Interest rates are high. Drop those prices. I mean, a lot of people that were buying boats, they didn't care about interest rates or anything. They were like, what's up, guys? Whoa. Wait for it. Albemarle. TI Pursuit and Albemarle. Bro. Ready to sell some boats here. Three of the best American brands you can find. So we can go on a sea trial. I think we're not landlocked. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could. We do a Sunday at 8 o'clock. Go on a sea trial. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you on camera. He's got Bro. you on camera. Bro, hold this camera. Let me beat this guy up. <laughs> hey, um, what are you guys expecting tomorrow? It's going to be a chicho tomorrow. You know that, right? Yeah. Chicho. Chicho. Yeah, but listen. That pole is going to be nonstop all day tomorrow. Which one? Oh, the pole? Oh, let's go see the pole. Wait, hold on, we forgot that. All right, guys, this is, oh, they're gonna have to have a, we're, we're gonna have to put a, a, a pole cam. Oh, no, I'm sure they have their own pole cam. Guys, um, yeah, tune in. We missed it, guys, we missed it. We missed it. Go, bro, go. Your turn. Uh, no, she told me. No, it's you, bro. <laughs> it's your turn. No, no, no. I can't make sure there's no time. Hey, enjoy, okay. enjoy the show, guys. Guys, I didn't even notice. I didn't know. I didn't even notice the pole, dude. I'm a little off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I am off. I got I to gotta go straight over here. I want to cross to uh, say hello over there to Sea yeah, Hunter. And I think I saw Chris over there. Is the siding all done? Let's see what I, I think he's. I've been seeing the Floridian at Black Point Marina when we're filming. Guys, look at the hat, right? Life preserver, right? I have this hat actually with the orange life preserver on luxuryrotenders.com, but look at this. How awesome is this? Oh boy, I just heard, uh-oh, there goes the chit show. <laughs> oh my, no! Wait. Wait for it! There you go. Wait, wait for it there. 
there's a hurricane in Miami arriving. Where are the, where are the Seaborns? Right there, behind you. Bro. Dude, we're not landlocked. <laughs> Where's Alfonso? Oh my goodness, guys. So this is what Alfonso was telling when we started this video, guys. Okay, this is a under 100K. 91. 91,998. With tax, does it go up though? <laughs> you got you got double power poles right there. You got you got a single 300 in the back. Mm -hmm. You got a fish roll. You got two, two GPS. You have and this is look, pretty much a bait boat. So look you at have this. your two fish boxes at the side. You got a cooler. You got storage, and you got everything you possibly need for fishing. So under 100k. Yes, sir. Is there is there an, is there a, is it is it the time to buy? Say, say yay or nay. I'm gonna say yay. I'll tell you why I'm gonna say yay because. Bro, things have slowed down. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'll, I'll say it how it is. And now what's gonna happen is people are gonna make deals. Yes, sir. Cause somebody's got the cacharulo. Exactly, exactly. And now we're gonna sell boats cause now people are gonna be buying boats cause they got the, the money. Exactly, exactly. Wait for it guys. Hey, it's the buyer's market guys. Alfred says so. And listen, this is actually at the, late in the day and I actually came on late on purpose because I didn't want, I wanted to be able to show the boats. And I'm gonna be at the boat ramp tomorrow and. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to avoid this place tomorrow, but I'm here. It's going to be packed. No, I know, I know, I know. Maybe I'll pass by over there. I'll bring the, the croc. All right, guys, we got another seaborn over here. Bro, I just came to get some beer. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, um, bro. Come on, man. We're not kidding. The shit show in the house. Wait for it. No, bro. InBev, InBev. <laughs> Yo. That's a Bud Light brand. That's not, I ain't touching that. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. <laughs> give me a red stripe. <laughs> no, no, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Well, I'm not on film. There you go. You're not on film. <laughs> hey, so what do you guys got on here? You got this Valentino That's here? That's Valentino 35. We're launching today. And uh, this is our hole number one. Hole one? Hole composite, yeah. Building the Outer Banks. Nice. I, li I like the lines on this boat. Yes, I really like this. Look at this, guys. Hey, I was joking around, by, by the way, about the whole beer thing. I was joking around. No, no, I will put it on you. <laughs> I, I don't care, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just having fun, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having fun. Um, very nice, very nice looking boat. Wow, hold on. Yeah, I got to take off my shoes, though. Hold on. Look who's over there! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you! We're here, Bob. <laughs> Guys, that's Chris from Sea Hunter. Welcome aboard the Valentino! Oh my goodness. Wow. Let me get away from you. No, 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 listen, bro. What do you think? I'm having a moment while on your boat? Or? I love it. No. I'm, a, I'm your fan, for real. No, no, listen, listen. I'm, I'm a fan of a boat that's different. And this, to me, feels different. The lines on this feel different. Where are you guys building this? Outer Banks, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. And what, what's up with the name? How do you guys come up with the name? Valentino is uh, come from my son. Okay. He's six and a half years old. Okay. So what uh, Bill, we started with a 28. Mm -hmm. and now we're doing a 35. This is a full composite. We do back in infusion hole. Nice. Everything in this bow is handmade. Nice. Composite as well. So uh, this one in specific, we start with a twin 350. Suzuki do a prop is about under 11,000 pounds. Okay. Full loaded. So it give you about 50 knots, right? Yep, yep, it was yep. giving the 50 knots today. This one have a sea keeper right, trim taps, new one, whole max, clear paint on it. We nice. use a core sail. So all this is a screw less. If you see it, I'll finish it. No screw. You can touch it in the bottom. Look at the bottom. Super clean. This is a fox stick paint. So when you were designing and building this boat, hole number one, what were what was your intended audience, right? Like what type of boater were you looking to go ahead and make this boat for? Offshore fishing guys. Sport Offshore. Fishing. Nice. Uh, in the outer banks we have uh, very good boat builders, uh, mm -hmm. Sony Briggs, Spencer, Bayless. There's a few good people, Paul, man. So we try to get uh, these people proud as well. 
very good community so i love i love the lines on this and i'll tell you what there's so much space here to fish i can see people screaming get to the other side and they're just running around the boat running around the boat running around the boat all you can fighting a fish you have space no we can see it oh we got, we got some hats look at this oh man you? thank you so much guys so we have few uh, different uh, interior design. This is the center console, mm -hmm. but we also offer express. Okay. The regular one that we're gonna be a production is gonna come with bow seats, 48 inches. So the bow seat will come with vacuum rest, so you can flip it to this side or the other side. Always the comps is gonna be a 360 fishing. Okay. So you're gonna have this open. All right. Here you have a anchor storage. We're gonna have a mall out of this one. This is not finished it, but. It's the concept signs, it's the hole number one. Then wow. uh, our new tower is gonna come with integrated speaker. What sound now is sponsor us. Those are very nice speakers. I'll show you inside here in the console. So you have, you have a dashboard right there. Easy access to the electronic. So you can work on it. Let me just turn on the, the lights. Right there. Everything so, you can get in there, just boom. And yeah. so you have a lot of space here. If you wanted to put, you, like, you can have a little berth here too, if you wanted to. You're gonna to, have a step down and a berth too. You're gonna have a step down also? Yes. So you can put a little head there or a porta potty Correct. if you wanted to. Porta potty. Um, on this one, we had a Raymarine, very good electronic. Those speakers, very loud. I'm about to play it for you if you wanted to. Nah, nah, I don't nah. Really, it's gonna ruin my video. <laughs> the, the lights on it, this is made by New War Marine. Okay. Very good people too. So uh, it's a complete custom, handmade. You what's, can change. What's the price point, Manuel? What's the price point on something like this? This one like is this? one on one, this one is 600. Okay. But we offer it uh, the production one for 525. 520. At the show. Okay, so production, when you say production, what will the production one include? Full loaded, just like this one. Okay. 340 gallons, uh, cushions, front seats, 10 speakers, so Wolford, all the electronics, uh, fresh water tank, sea keeper ride, clear bottom pane, uh, twin 350 Suzuki dual prop, including the fox stick painted. Pretty much full loaded. This is a life well here underneath, pressure eye. Nice. Nice, nice side. So you can just take off the cushions when you want to go ahead and just full mode fishing. Where can they go online, Manuel, to check out more information or maybe reach out to you guys? ValentinoCustomBow.com. So awesome. you have all the information there. My name is Manuel. You can call me or any of those guys. So uh, the information is out there. A lot of people follow us on Instagram. Uh, cool. And now, now they're going to see. Now there's going to be a lot of more people following. Well, now they're going to see you on my channel, out from Montaner, guys, out over here walking the docks at the. Uh, South Florida Boat Show. We're your fan, man. Believe me. Bro, you look like a security guard up there, dude. <laughs> hey, are you flexing on... <laughs> Jump up and down over there. No, actually, no, 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 don't do that. The last thing Everything I... is solid on this boat. No, and I'm glad you're doing that, right? Because you're like 120, maybe. Ish. <laughs> I see something hanging on the side of your knee there. I got to get out of here. This, this place is getting weird. Bro, thank you so much. <laughs> she, she knows what I'm talking about. You've seen that before. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my hat a little bit. <laughs> Wait for it. What's up? See Hunter in the house. Let's go. Guys, you remember? You remember the boat ride that we did? Was it this one? This is the 46. This is actually our 46, our 45 VTS. It's actually a V bottom boat. Wait a second. This is a V bottom? Yes, sir. Oh, this is the one that we filmed last time, but it looks yeah. because it's separated. It almost Correct. makes it think it's the it's the cat. Yep. So we did the video that we did was the 46 CTS, CTS the catamaran. catamaran, which is yeah. sick. Yeah, is I haven't done a boat ride on this one yet. No, you haven't yet. We yet, <laughs> yet, <laughs> yet, <laughs> yet. <laughs> so who are you here with the, at the show? So here we got Nick over here with us. He's actually uh, selling a boat right now on the phone. Okay, nice. But yeah, man, so we got the 45 VTS. Okay. So which stands for V Bottom Tournament Series. Okay. And then we got our 28 Floridian. I did this video with, with Autumn. Yes, and, and, at and the, I, yes. What at, was that, Palm Beach show? Yes. Yeah. And it was a forced. 
it was yeah, it she's was not about the screen time. Yeah, yeah, she's not about the screen time. But and then I found out that her mom is like a huge fan. Really? Yeah, she's been texting me ever since. Bro. No, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love it. <laughs> Autumn's like you would, bro. Yeah, you would. <laughs> hey, big shout out to Autumn's mom. Okay, so go. this is the Floridian. So this is the 28th Floridian. Yes, this is the one that when we walked the factory, mm -hmm. you guys didn't have many of them yeah. available, but you were like, hey, we're gonna start pushing them a little yep. bit more. And we've definitely turned up like our production because with the of new the factory. Yes, they, the new factory. Did the tour with us. Yes, guys, and we got to go back to show the the whole factory. Yeah. They got some live music going on over there, right? Yeah, man, listen to that. They've been partying. This this is a real Miami. Ooh. This is like real, real yeah. Miami. They haven't yeah. stopped the music, guys. No, that's just been going the whole time. <laughs> I think they're gonna have a couple of concerts tonight and then also throughout the weekend. All right, I'll be out of here. Yeah, man, let's go. <laughs> I'm stuck here till eight. Let's go after 45. I'm like, what party, bro? What the <laughs> hell are you talking about, <laughs> honey? It's 9:01. Let's go to bed. All right, so tell me a little bit about this Floridian. Yeah, man, so this is our 28 Floridian. It's a 2023 model. Mm -hmm. Got the four seating. This is a nice looking boat. Yeah, man. Now, this boat's got all the bells and whistles, right? So it's got like the, the trolley, the trolley motor. It's got the power pole. It's got a joystick on it. It's got the forward seating, which is really nice, and that's all removable mm -hmm. and it's all welded in house. Oh, that's right, because you have all that have those a all shop. everything. You guys yeah, do man. almost everything now, yeah. right? I gotta get you over there so you can see the place in motion now, which is really nice. So. Listen, you tell Eddie to go and just get ready, and we're gonna do this. <laughs> we'll do it. Eddie get, yeah, Eddie, get ready. Yeah, Eddie, get ready. Eddie, get ready. Ready, Eddie. And he's never ready. Uh, no, we're gonna call him Ready Eddie now. Uh, yeah. You know, okay. The other cool part with us now, uh, at least for me, is I've made a quick transition, mm -hmm. a small transition in the company. I've taken on the sales manager position at Tidewater Boats. Okay. So under the umbrella of Sea Hunter at Sea Hunter Marina, we also sell Tidewater. So we actually have a 292 here that's available. You're talking uh, about over there in Key Largo. In Key Largo, right? We gotta at, show at that. Marina. We gotta show that compound Maybe one day. Maybe it'll be cool for you to come. And then we can do some Tidewater stuff, Sea Hunters, and we can like jump on a bunch of different boats that day. I, I think it'll be cool. And yeah. then we, maybe we get the one that's cut in half. Yeah, I can have it pull it down. That'd be really cool. Let's go, that'll, that'll, that'll be, okay. But yeah, man, there's our Tidewater, it's a 292. Actually, that one's ready for delivery. You can actually drive away from the show with it. What's what's the price point on that? All right, so you're looking at that boat there, um, somewhere in like the like the high ones. Okay. Um, just depending, come see me. We'll talk about money and all that different type of stuff. But if you want to take a look at it, it's here. Twin 300. It's got a uh, Garmin on it, jail, audio, stereo system. A lot let's go of check it out. Come here. Come on. Let's go check it out. Yeah. You know, my, my neighbor um, went ahead and got a Tidewater. I mean, he got a, he got a boat that was destroyed on Ian. Right. But it wasn't yeah. destroyed. It was it was supposed to be destroyed, but it never got destroyed. Oh, my God. So, he, a a so he got a super deal. And I'm going to show the transition of, you know why oh, you... Oh, like the build process? Well, I didn't show, I didn't film everything, but I, I filmed it before he did the stuff to it. Right. And I'm going to show the after. And what I always tell people, you can only get away with stuff like that to make something good when the boat is built good. Right, right, right. Of if course. it's not built good, you can't do none of that of stuff and make it look the way it yeah, is. Yeah. Because you got no nothing to work with. 100%. So... You know, the good thing about these boats, what we learned with our sea hunters, mm -hmm. you know, in our build style, they're similar. So that's why we went with Tidewater and chose them other than others. This is a foam-filled boat. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of similarities to our Sea Hunters mm -hmm. uh, in their build style and their build process. So that's why it makes a lot of sense. And it is a very like family-oriented boat. It's got the, the rear seating that folds in and out so you can still fish. But when you got the family on board, you open it up. It's got the Sahara interior. Nice little color match on the dash. You know, the forward seating with a table. And that actually retracts down so you can actually have it as a big like bunny pad or also, you know, a nice little forward area that you look. So I've been telling people, I think the market has turned in favor of the buyer. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that, like COVID is over. Mm -hmm. No, 100%. It's gone. Yep. Now that major boat salesman called Rona, right. she's no longer in the picture. That's right. So now things are getting more normalized yep. and people have a little bit of leverage to buy a boat. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys are still out on out, out a couple of years, right? On certain boats. On certain boats, depending yeah. on the boat size. But but you guys are going to fix that with the manufacturing that Without you're doing now. Yeah. We've already seen that happen, especially like with our 28 Floridian, right? Yeah, we that's went awesome. From what was a massive wait, you know, multiple years. Yeah. So now where we can pretty crank, we can crank them out pretty quickly, but also at the same time not losing, uh, not losing the quality of the build that we that we were known for. Yeah. Which, which we did that factory video, which is awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, guys, if, 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 you always wanna, if you wanna look at a Sea Hunter boat, yeah. watch it, my, my video. Yeah. The video is awesome. It's, it just shows the whole manufacturing yeah, yeah. and uh, it was a great video. Yeah, man. Our, where can they go online? I know they know, but go again. So online, um, you can always just visit us at seahunterboats.com. 
um, on Instagram, at Sea Hunter Boats. Um, and also uh, at our Manatee Bay Marina uh, site of uh, on, web, on uh, Instagram. I'm sorry, I got all tongue tied. Bro, I'm tongue tied too. I haven't even drank yet. I no, think I'm, I know. I think I'm stroking out. Had maybe. You had a couple of <laughs> no, no, no. no. Actually, no. <laughs> Stop it. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, uh, man, or you know, just contact me at Chris D at SeaHunterBoats.com. Anything you need, I'm here to help you out. All right, guys. Alfred Montaner making a scene. We're gonna continue. Let's we go. got we we got a couple more. We got we're almost at the end of the road. Bro, you guys are bad. How your legs feeling? How your legs? Ah! <laughs> and all right, we continue, guys. We're almost done with the show, guys. I'm sure. I'm sure the next year. I don't know if they're gonna do it at the same time as next year, but I'm sure. Oh, look who's here, bro. How many boats, Mo, have we sold together? A lot of boats, a lot of boats. What's up, brother? How are you? Bro, are you liking this Key Biscayne? I'm loving it. Bro, isn't this where it's supposed to be? Yes, sir. This is supposed to be. This is where it's this supposed to be. be something bro. big. For the future, it's going to be a very big show. This is going to be a very big it's gonna show. Bring, it's going to make boating great again. This is <laughs> this is going to make boating great again, guys. All right, so what what do we got over here? Um, 23 Blackwater. We got a Blackwater over here, Mo. So... The only thing I don't like, bro, over here at the show, I can't talk, bro, because yeah, the, the, the party started. The, the partner hasn't stopped. But that it, isn't that Miami, though. Yeah, that's no, Miami, it's, right? It's a that, that, listen, that, that's the South Florida vibe. I'm not gonna hate. It's just like I couldn't do a video over there. Yeah. I wanted to show, and I'll, I'll, I'll edit it out and stuff like yeah, that. But I probably gotta go early in the morning because the music's not that loud. In the morning. Yeah. But but listen, it's gonna get wilder. And if yeah. if you want to party, this is the show to come to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Plantation Boat Mart, right? Um, yes, 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 yes. What was the price point on this, Mo? Near 200. Near 200. Okay, I saw another boat there that I hadn't seen over here. What's what's going on with this? So this is a 2008 refit that we did. We packed pack it's a 360. So you completely did the we whole? Did, yeah, we redid the whole boat. Brand new GPS, speaker system, sea deck interior. Batteries, rigging. We put brand new motors, 300 hours. Wow. Run 84 miles an hour. 84? Yeah. Yeah. Miami vibes, top of it. You know, I'm seeing that lately a lot at, at Black Point. Yeah. They're, they're like, don't give me a center uh, T top or anything. I'm good. Yeah, Just. And it's got a cover that's from the front of the boat to the back. So it's 36 feet of coverage when you get a sandbar. If you want to. Yeah. Nice. Where can they go online, Mo? Here's a plantationboat.com. You can see all the details on it. Sorry. Hey, wait for it. <laughs> all right, guys. Mo, hey, right, good you, to man. see nice you, bro. Hey, tomorrow should be crazy yeah. over here. Guys, Mo, I've done a bunch of videos with him here at the show. And um, awesome. Good to see that. We got some Invincibles here. I bet you some of you are like, what do you mean there's a boat show? In May? In Miami? Yeah, guys. Okay. And it has a head too, right? It is interesting, to say the least. And guys, you know, I I don't really care. I go to all of the shows and I rep them all as hard as I do. And I, oh no, not, no, no, not that guy, no. Hey, Grady White. You want to talk about it? 375 Freedom. Let's Brand go, jump, jump, jump on, jump on. Let's go, come on. Let's see what we got. Brand new, guys. You know, I um, I've been seeing a lot of these um, down in uh, Biscayne Bay over there when I'm yeah. in so Black Point and stuff. 2022, basically a new boat without the price tag of a new boat. So this Under is a 20 hours. 20, 2022. 2022. Wow, look at the size of this, dude. This thing is huge. So this is a freedom, right? This that's what you said it is. It's a freedom. Freedom. Hold on, let me open this lens a little bit. Foot boat beam. Uh huh. So you know, on a 37 foot boat, having that much beam, it feels like a 50 foot. Bro, this this, this feels like a, get out here. This feels like I'm in a house. What are you talking it's about? So real. <laughs> you have a sea keeper, diesel generator. To leave those those benches in the dark when you want to go out fishing. Sure shape. 
Yeah. And this, you said, has less than 30 hours, I suppose? Less than 30 hours. Off the grill. Little sink here as well. Nice. Super boat. Joystick, thruster. I like this, All dude. The toys, Look. sunroof, that opens up. That's so good. On your port side, you have your cabin. Which right now we're using for storage. That'll pull out Ooh, that air. the bed. Yes. That table will fold down as well. Mm -hmm. And then your starboard side. Your head. Wow, this 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 is this is I didn't expect this to be as big in here. Very spacious. Boat. Very spacious. On a thirty seven footer you won't you won't find something. I kind of, I'm kind of digging that whole separate, you know, head, yeah. birth area. Oh, I like that. Walk up to the bow. Nice place to, to tan. You know, big pads. You can put these as a table. They can go up or down. Nice. Right now it's in the lounge. Yeah. Setting. Yeah, you can. Have. And 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 this is the, uh, what was the size in this boat again? 37. 37. 37. What's the biggest one? The Canyon, right? The Canyon. Yeah. Canyon. And this is the Freedom. This is the Freedom. 375. What's the price point for this boat, like right now? Right now we're asking 799. 799. Correct. Where can they go online? Florida Yachts International. Florida Yachts International? Correct. Give me your email real quick. Costa at fyiyachts.com. Okay, guys. I got it. And uh, thank you. Awesome. We're going to continue. Name? Alfred Montaner. Alpha. Check. Check me out uh, on, uh, oh boy, oh, I can do it. Wait for it. Oh, Montana falls in. Damn, and I bumped into a cigarette. This doesn't get any better, dude. What is this? Are you guys repping over here too? Yes, sir. Damn. So we got. Cigarette 2016. You know, some of the best memories I have here in these uh, are cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. I've done, I've, I've done, I've uh, done. Cigarette Tirana video twice, oh, you live. 13 million views. Yeah, I done, I've done a bunch of them. With John Ruiz. Yes, I did a video, that's right, that's there. right. Yes, there? I did a video and I interviewed yeah. John Ruiz oh, on the inside the Tirana. Yes, it was, yes. Just got redone at the factory. Okay. All new paint job, all new upholstery. It's the same upholstery, the same fabric you'll find on the brand new, ones. new 2024 yes. boats. Nice. It's like the, that cool touch. Yes. So this doesn't get hot, you know. I can't wait to do a factory tour. I, I want to do a factory tour over there for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Let's go, John Ruiz. Let's go, make it happen. We got it. We got to show cigarette over the factories. You guys are busting out boats left and right. Yeah, let's go, guys. Let's go check a look at. Let's go look at this real quick. So, what year is this boat? This is a 2016. 2016. Correct. Model? 41. 41. GTR. GTR. Now, again, this boat's mint. Mint, everything was redone, no electronics. Only thing original on this boat is probably the engines. The engines, and those are 400s? Those are 400Rs. 400Rs. These are actually one of the first ones. Really? Nice. Do you know how many hours they would have on them or no? You can find out. We can find out after the fact though. Regardless, if somebody's interested, they can find out. Look at this, guys. You're seeing a lot of things that we normally won't see, right? So you're seeing some refits and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to show some of these different boats, right? Bro, beautiful. I'm not surprised. It's a cigarette. Come on. Look at this. They did a really good job. Quality boat. Yeah, they did a really good job. Quality. Yeah. Yeah. You got a. Uh, you're, you're. You're never gonna go wrong on a cigarette. All right. Well, listen. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. They got your info. Thank you, Alfred. And uh, we'll. Uh, We'll go ahead and push some people your way. Thank All right, you. thank you, bro. Take care.
All right, guys, we continue. Bro, you need to interview that guy. But you weren't here. No, 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 that guy. That guy right there, look, that guy. Why are you? Because I'm Richard Perez. Let's go. To, I vote, I'm here to sell it to you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you go ahead and what, what boat do you want to show? We ran out of boats. I'll walk you on the streamline. You got one there? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 2023 Streamline R. Reinvented. Okay, what does uh, reinvented mean? What do you mean? They're, R. They're rebranding to new uh, new owners. Okay. Uh, there should so, be a couple things. So, so the old owners are not the same owners now? Correct. Okay. So, where are you guys making them now then? They're made here in Florida. Okay. Okay, just want to know because these people... Factory peop here in Florida. Okay, new factory, new same owners. Hall. Okay. Very similar components. They're adjusting and tweaking everything that the previous uh, company did. Okay. And they're making it better. But they're keeping the same hull. Okay. Same design. Same that bottom. Was, same bottom. That was flawless. Okay. Cool. Let's it's go. It's a 26. With this engine package, it does 70 miles an hour. Nice. I think it's a little bit of overkill, but we're here to serve. Hey, overkill is never bad, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You can Listen, fit. when you have a thunderstorm down your neck, you want overkill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got a nice fish box, doubles as a cooler. Nice big console. You know, I, I, did a, I did a walk actually with somebody I just talked to a little while ago at one of the West Palm Beach shows of the 26. I was one of the first people to film the 26s, Streamline. And this is the same exact boat, just Obviously, different color scheme and stuff like that. And somebody if wanted white, they can get it white or whatever color they right. want. Any color scheme you want. We what's can what's the turnaround time right now at this new factory? Forty-five days. Forty-five days. Yes, sir. What? I get your vote in forty-five days. What? Yeah. So you guys already have boats made already, or no? You do. We're, we're already making them. Okay, so you're already okay. making. Okay, so how many boats do you have available? Like, if somebody wanted, what do you just have a blank call? You can paint For them this after. One, we can produce two of these a month. Two of them. Okay, nice. We also uh, have a 35 and we have a 45. Where can they go online to get the information? Streamlineboats.com. Streamlineboats.com. Wait, thank you. Good to see that you guys have at least the boat back, right? Yes, sir. You know, I always say you sometimes you don't start where you, you know, you don't end where you started. Right now it's new people doing different things and. We're here to, we're here to stand behind the product and make sure we make it better every year. Was there problems? Uh, on the exit of the other company or no? Or, 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 all that's already been taken care of? Because people are going to want to know that. I think any time a, a, a company does have an exit, okay. uh, it's because of a problem. But it had nothing to do with the product itself. The product. It was all behind. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that the people who probably had some different... Which is not it's nothing a, with you guys. Is I just want to make sure that those people were taken care of. Yeah, those people were taken which care is, of. Which is because you guys have to own up for that, right? You got, you got a boat brand that's a good brand. That's a right. good boat. You know what I'm saying? So good to, good to hear that. Very good question. Yes. No, no, listen. Hey, I like to get it all out, bro. Yeah. Because people are going to ask the questions. And now that's it. That's, it's overboard. That's right. And now you're saying that you can get boats over there. And you're saying that they're build, being built in Florida and people can go and see them at the shows. Right and here awesome. in Miami. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Boy, Richard, thank Great you so much, bro. He was right. He was right. Richard Perez, if you need a boat, Florida Yachts. Florida Yachts, guys. Let's go. Wait for it. All right, I'm going to go continue and get on a boat. There you go, guys. Intrepid, Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna pass by your boats later, All right, bro. guys. Intrepid. Did you guys remember over there the boat show? Dynamic boats. All right, guys. I think we are done with this show. Other than see those rib boats over there, and I'm seeing some rib boats that I want to see and get my hands on before, because we're gonna go. Oh boy, we got. Oh, we got people already started the party. And I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a sea trial now on another boat before I get out of here. Wait, so, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, North Star, oh boy. On Orion, eight meter and a high field, oh boy. Wait for it. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's gonna happen, guys. Sea trial, it's gonna happen. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna happen, 100%, for sure. Kevin! Billy! Bro, I need to do a sea trial on these rib boats, let's go. I'm serious. Bro, you guys look too comfortable, let's go on the water, I'm serious. That last sea trial drained my battery. <laughs> what do you mean last sea trial? We're not telling the people we already did it. <laughs> guys, we did it, guys. We did it. We did a sea trial of both of these with the team over here at Nautical Ventures. Wow, what a ride. Regrettably, this gimbal did not, did not hold up to the G-forces that these rib boats gave it. It's, bro, it was just, it was extremely intense. No, no, listen. You know what it is? I'm doing a full tour of the show. And then I'm, I'm actually going to tell them now. I just told them that we just did a sea trial, yeah. um, which was crazy, bro. It was nuts. Literally, when I came back, I was like, I'm drained. That was, <laughs> that was a rough one, but in the best way possible. What do you mean, dude? That, that was how you want, that's how you want to show a boat. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, you want to show a boat like that. Boat. Yeah, that's how you want to show a boat. How's the show been, and what are you expecting tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, today's been a decent crowd. Are we filming or not? Yes, yes, we're filming. No, no, I'm serious. No, I don't stop, you know. No, let's, but now, tomorrow's going to be very, very busy. Yeah. I mean, the one thing I can say about the show is I love the setup. I love it. It is a little bit smaller. I think you're going to get it. No, you know, we've done Flizz. We've done Miami where it takes you three hours to walk a whole boat show. No, this is... This is quick and you're going to see what you want to see. And then if you want to come back to talk to someone, it's not a burden. And you know. and, and then you can do a sea trial. Yeah, this is the best part. This Finally, is, we can... Yeah, this is, you can sea trial. Readily. You guys have been sea trialing that axle part all day. All day. I mean, uh, bro, gas prices are coming down that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what the, the benefits of having your own marina. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen up. I'm out of here. I'm done. I got one more boat to show over here. And uh, check out Nautical Ventures, guys. All right. And wait for it. I just saw the other one leave. He's coming, he's coming back, he's coming back, man. How I, you guys doing, how you guys doing? I'm literally, I said, I gotta go and go check out your boat because I saw the boat. Actually, you know what? I, I filmed your boat when I was on okay. the other one, All right. which was uh, the rib boat over here, the, the, high, the high field. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that other boat because I can actually put the footage of that boat. It's a Panga type boat? It's a boat. 26 Panga Toro edition. Okay. Um, it's got a 80 gallon fuel tank on it. Nice. You got about 300 mile range. You get four four miles to the gallon. Nice. Um, it's got a jack plate. It's got it's all It's so clean it. though, too. Clean. You guys did a good job um, the on that boat. The of the boat is amazing. You can get in a foot of water and you can take it nice. offshore if you like. Nice. Can we lower the radio so I can show this boat real quick? Yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see this one. Swipe it really fast. No, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're good. I'm going to step on it right now and dirty it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a smaller one. This is our 17 micro skiff. Okay. So it's a, a little lap straight call. You don't see that very much anymore. Nice. It's got two live wells. It's got a 27 gallon fuel tank on it. Mm -hmm. And this one's outfitted with a 50 Suzuki. 50 Suzuki under 40K? Under 40K. Under 40K, guys. And and how, how much horsepower is that Suzuki? This, this is a 50 horsepower. A we 50. Got, we got 38 miles an hour out of it. 38, dude, on, on this little boat is flying. Where, where can they go online to check online, out the boat? You can check us out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, our website, Caught Looking Boatworks at gmail.com. Okay, Caught Looking? Caught Looking Boatworks. Okay, I need to uh, stay right there. Oh, hold it, hold it there, right there. There it is, guys. Caught Looking Boatworks. Hey, beautiful boats. If I, if I have time to see and show the other boat, I, I'm going to jump on another boat right now, yeah, yeah. but I'm going to do another sea trial. And if I can catch it with some time, I'm, yeah, I'm also, here. I'm here. I want to show. I want to show. It's a badass boat. I really like Pangos. Thank you, buddy. Especially, especially when I saw them in Santo Domingo. Yeah. Remember when I did that video over there in Genotic? I went to Mexico. Now I'll be in the Bahamas shortly, and you'll see them, and you'll see them over there. Thank you, Alfred. All right, guys. And here's the axle part. Um, Jordan, come here. Come here. Kevin, What's you guys. What's that, brother? Are you ever gonna do a rib boat ride again? No, no, no. <laughs> Not with Billy Bourne. I will go away. Hey, no, they're gonna go way up. No, no. Yeah. Listen, you're not the target buyer. You're not the target buyer. Yeah, I feel like I'm the butt of this joke right now. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, Jordan. 
when Billy was there on this, <laughs> Billy was on this one and he was like, get me off of this boat. All right guys, well listen up. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me, Alfred Montana, making a scene as always. Check out my videos, smash that like. Hey, we're going to continue. Um, check out the other videos I've done and the sea trials. Wait for it. Alfred Montana, making a scene. Hats, luxuryribtenders.com. Support me and uh, yeah, let's go. Boom!